It's trash. It's fucking trash. Ooh, I know I look a hot ass mess. But hey guys, it's me, Jasmine at Part of My Imagination. And today we're gonna be doing a little bit different video. I just got off of work, so I don't have the girls. And I've been trying to find time to do this with the girls. I mean, without the girls, because book shopping and used bookstores with them is really hard. But I'm here outside of the Washington's largest used bookstore. And I guess I just wanted to like vlog the experience and show you guys like how large this bookstore is, if it's a good bookstore and things like that. So let's just go inside guys. Oh, I can't switch it.
Okay. Hey guys. This is the next day from going to the bookstore and I just wanted to comment on my thoughts. It was kind of short because I didn't like it was just awkward. This was my first time and it was just kind of awkward recording um, while other people were around. But essentially the b bookstore was broken down into different sections if I think I caught it on video. I'm not sure. Um, but like right in the front was like the children book and then it kind of went into like young adult uh, middle grade and young adult and then there was like an entire section for just Star Wars and Star Trek like it was crazy and then you had obviously your fantasy your science fiction and things like that and then in the back back which is I didn't actually get any footage for that um it was like poetry autobiographies and things like that in the back and then the romance section was like huge it was like three it was like two or three different aisles of like just straight up romance but it was kind of like what's the word like it made me kind of anxious because there were just so many books and like you know you just want to look at everything um, and then my second thoughts are it was kind of pricey for a used bookstore. Yeah, I mean, overall, it was fantastic. There were some really good books in there that I found. Um, I'm going to do a haul of the books that I got um, for this video just to make it a little bit longer because the vlogging was really fucking short. But it actually wasn't big. It was like super crowded. And I think that's why I made me so anxious because there were just books piled on top of books. And I love the vibe of it. It was uh, fantastic but it wasn't really big like the store itself wasn't big i think when they're saying the largest used bookstore it was for the amount of books that they have and it's like 1.2 million dollars million not dollars but books that they have and i could believe it like there were books piled everywhere there were books stacked on top of the shelves and it was phenomenal so like you anyone could go in there and definitely find at least one book um there were kind of two issues that I had with it and it wasn't even like I don't know for me it was kind of just like it put me off so they have these little benches um that you can climb on and I'm five too um so I really couldn't read the top like the top shelf of it not the ones that were like stacked on top but like the top shelf of the actual shelf I couldn't reach it and they're like I couldn't find another ladder that was like big enough and I'm like that type of person like I don't really want to ask someone for help um just to I because I just wanted to browse like I wanted to see what was up there and I couldn't see so like that was one issue that I had all these all the jokes are about all the black jokes are about someone um stealing stuff um not having any money like it's just it's trash it's fucking trash yes let's just get into the other books that i did pick up um i don't have the harry potter book i did buy a hardback cover of twilight i bought if you remember the the dear america diaries um that i showed a while back i um, was hauling a certain ones and i did pick up three of them but let's just get into it all right, the first one I have is The Invention of Hugo Cabret. Cabret. Um, it's by Brian Selznick. Um, if you remember this author, I read the Wonderstruck book by him. It was the, it's the pictures and word, like pictures and story. Uh, I gave that last, I gave Wonderstruck five stars. I've seen this and this book is normally like $30. Let me see. Now, yeah, this book was twenty nine, twenty two nineteen, and I did pay a good price for it, and that's because this is the first edition. I paid fifteen bucks for it, so that wasn't bad. Um, I want to check out his other stuff, so I seen this. Um, it's in fabulous condition, like it might be brand new. No, it smells like old used bookstore, but <laughs> yeah, I did pick this up. I have no idea what's it up, what's, what it is about. Jesus, English is fucking hard today. 
but yeah i picked seen it picked it up next book that i picked up is the bloodline of the holy grail the hidden lineage of jesus revealed by lawrence gardner um yeah all right the next book i picked up is the republic of plato by uh francis mcdonald yeah mcdonald Con Con cornford jesus can i talk today all right the next book that i picked up and here come my kids right here and coming up the stairs is a roll of thunder hear me cry this is the 40th anniversary special edition by mildred d taylor um i don't know anything about this book the last two books that i picked up were children books these are the two books that i even managed to get out of that top um bin from the african-american section for kids and the first one is the black snowman by phil mendez and the next one, the, the last one that I have here is Aunt Harriet's Underground Railroad in the Sky by Faith Ringgold. But yeah, that's all that I have. I hope you like this. Um, I know it wasn't a really long vlog and I probably did more complaining about that book than anything. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you had a problem with this video then I don't know don't come back